Baldi is stuck in a chair. How will he survive? How will he be saved? But more importantly, how will we get the chair back? Let's find out. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome to Baldi is stuck. Help me. I'm not sure how Baldi found himself in this situation, but clearly he is stuck in that chair. On the bright side, it seems like that chair is fairly comfortable. So if he has to exist sitting on that chair for the rest of his life, at least it's not like a wooden chair or a stool. That would be a nightmare. But apparently we have the power to save Baldi from this situation that he's in by answering math questions, I guess. Let's go to the how to play. Sometimes we get, oh, deep story lore here. Oh no, someone has glued Baldi to his office chair. He can't move, but before first prize went on break, he put all of his functions into Baldi's chair so he could control it. Oh good. So Baldi's gonna be cruising around the hallways in his motorized office chair incredible either way another mod by michael does gaming link in the description down below if you want to try out this mod for yourselves without further ado let's play baldi is stuck in a chair let's a go and finally the reason why i'm not there is because while i was doing my work, i all the time i got up my butt was sewn to the chair. I thought someone would sew it, but it looked like it been glued to the chair. Oh. And yeah, just as usual, just collecting over, but I'll still be teaching math from the UK Big Pack. What? Okay, I understood about 50% of that, but I think I got the important 50%. Baldy was grading homework, got up from his chair, but soon discovered that he was one with the chair. At first, he thought he had been sewed to the chair, which would be very impressive. If you could pull off that prank, I would be impressed. Imagine someone sitting in a chair, you run up behind them and actually stitch their butt to the bottom of the chair that they're sitting in. Feel like they would notice that. However, on further investigation, Baldi discovers that he's indeed been glued to the chair. Who did it? Who's the culprit? in this travesty. We'll probably never find out, but let's just answer some math problems because, you know, that's what you do in Baldi's Basics. You answer math problems, and you also wonder, what was the other stuff that Baldi was talking about? I don't know. Oh. Thanks. You're not here. A shiny quarter. A shiny quarter. Okay. Thanks for the quarter. Here we go. We're going to make Baldy mad. But on the bright side, he's stuck in a chair. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we know. Oh, gosh, no. I'm stuck on my chair. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, no. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. no. He's so fast. He was, no. I'm going to have to chase you on my chair. No. So you run. You stop. Run. Stop. Just stop. No, I'm stuck. Oh my gosh. He's he's a very, very fast version of first prize. Okay, first prize souped up that office chair. Hey! Uh, what are you just drinking soda? And I have to jump eight times? Do I have to really jump eight times? He's coming. No, 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 no. No. Fine. I accept my fate. Yes, we know you're stuck. It keeps reminding us. Okay, so Playtime clearly has had way too much soda. She needs to cool it. Baldy, on the other hand, his office chair. It's incredibly maneuverable. I, I'm very surprised by this. So basically, as soon as I answer the impossible question incorrectly, a Baldi just like busts through the hallway at Mach 3 in his office chair of doom. I'm starting to think that this is gonna be way harder than I initially thought. Like, we've played mods where Baldi has basically been replaced with first prize, right? And they tend to be fairly easy because Escaping first prize is a lot easier than escaping Baldi. Also, uh, first prize stays the same speed the entire time. 
much. Yes, we know. Oh my gosh, dude, he's so fast. I'm so scared. Okay, uh, well, he got, he got kind of hung up, I think, for a second there. Okay, okay, all right, yep, there he is. Gosh, he turned so fast. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. That rip. Okay, new strategy. We need to do way more turns. Turns are the bane of any office chair's existence, especially motorized ones. So we just need to do a lot of dipping and diving into like different rooms and stuff. That, that's at least the strategy that I'm going to attempt to employ. Will it work? I don't know. All right, yep, you're very stuck. Yes, we know, we, we know. Okay, so here he don't comes. Okay. Yes, you're gonna chase me on your chair. Okay, he did say that he's pretty quick. First prize really did give him a souped up version of, of whatever kind of motor he has. I don't like it. It's making my life way harder. I want to defeat you stuck Baldy. Which is kind of weird, like, he's asking me to help him, right? By, by doing the math problems, but at the same time, if I answer all the math problems, he's gonna get- What?! Cool, cool, uh, plushies. Uh, principal, I happen to have the same exact plushies just hanging up on, on the wall over there. Okay, a man of taste, I can see. Oh, hi, Baldy. Great, we're both here in detention, this is awful. Okay, let's not play. No, get out of here. Get out of here. I already got this notebook. I am so dumb. You did great. Thanks for letting me know that I did great. I do have to say that stuck in a chair baldy is is very motivating. He just keeps telling me that I did great. That's really nice. Now, why is he chasing me? And why is he angry at me? And at the same time, letting me know that I did great? I don't know. I'm getting conflicting messages here. Either way, uh four notebooks so look at us okay so i did manage to throw baldy off the scent and that seems to have saved us quite a bit of pain and suffering oh never mind there he is oh gosh once that dude starts building up momentum uh scary things are gonna happen no 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 don't take my soda okay he didn't take my soda he took the boats he didn't take my soda he took the boots which is Totally fine, because I don't like the boots. Baldy is right behind me. I'm pretty sure he's going to be in this classroom at any moment. Cool. Baldy, what are you doing, dude? Just the sound of his chair rotating and moving is kind of terrifying. He's got some heavy-duty hydraulics in there. Oh, okay, yep, there he is. Are you going to come in here, Baldy? You, you, okay, yep, you're, you're going to come into this classroom. Oh, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I am very stuck. This is not great. This is not great. And I don't feel like I'm doing great. But hopefully, you get as stuck as I did. I saw God of Sweet for a second there. He was a weird color. Baldy might actually be stuck in that classroom forever. The layout of those chairs is very confusing. You get one of those office chairs stuck. Just... Just one of them stuck on the corner of one of those desks. That's where you're going to spend the rest of your life, Baldy. Forget it. You're stuck, man. You're super stuck. Not only are you stuck in the chair, you're stuck on the desk. Double stuck. Got him. He got out. He's too good. He's too strong. I need to shoot him with soda. And blast him! Oh, that was a little scary. Whew, he starts building up some crazy momentum. He's a force to be reckoned with, for sure. But now we only have one more notebook to get. We might actually escape this nightmare this office chair nightmare. I would like a soda in my inventory. That would be like super nice. All right, the last notebook, grab it. Now what's Baldy gonna have to say about me collecting all the notebooks? Well, he's gonna be very grateful because by doing so, I've saved him from the chair, right? Congratulations, you found all seven of my notebooks. Now all you need to do is get out while you still He sounded really, really happy. That was his happy voice, I'm sure. Very, very happy, like I said. Okay, so I actually don't know where Baldi is right now. And now that this noise is happening, um, I extra don't know where he is. Oh, I think I hear him. I, is, is he in this hallway? 
Oh, he's in that hallway. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go the other way. We're, we're gonna go the other way. Oh yeah. Oh, my ears are bleeding. Super cool. Okay. Oh, nope, get out of here. Get out of here. This is a route that I don't typically take at this point in the game, but here we are. Will we survive? I don't know. I, oh, I hate this. I definitely hate this. You need to cool it with the caffeine and sugar intake playtime. I don't know. You're really gonna make me jump eight times. That's, that's rude. That's really rude. Yet again, I have no idea where Baldi is. I do know that playtime though, relentless. She's coming back. I'm pretty sure she's coming back. No, okay, no, never mind. Not gonna lie, the noise in my ear, very loud, extremely loud. And I can't turn the volume down because I gotta get out of here. So here we go. Did we escape? The, the true reward of beating Baldi's basics is not having to hear that noise anymore. That's, we all win. We all win. Thank you for saving my ears, Baldi. We saved Baldi from the chair, or did we? Honestly, I have no idea. Was our end goal to save Baldi from the chair? Probably not. So Baldi, enjoy your life in your chair. Like I said, at least it's a comfy chair. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. But as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Baldi. You've been saved, but not really.